Hey guys, this is Amal from Tech Leathercraft. In this video, I want to take a moment to show you guys a vertical holster, leather holster for a smartphone. This one specifically is designed with a metal swivel clip. I did do a basket weave pattern on this. I will talk about that later. The basket weave pattern is a little bit more complicated to do. Usually when I make these holsters, I usually have them plain and I'll put initials or a stamp, something on the front. Uh, a basket weave kind of covers uh, most of the case. I did leave the back portion undone uh, just to keep cost on for the customer. It does come with this metal swivel clip and to completely unlock it, you can actually turn it completely upside down and you can detach it. And then you can clip it back in upside down and it completely locks into place. I do have elastic sides on this case. I can always do leather gussets on the side if you want. The elastic allows it the phone to go in and out a little bit easier. And on this one, I'd use a magnetic clasp. This was the customer's request. I usually use line 20 snaps. They're a little bit more solid than the magnetic ones, but the person wanted it to have it easily accessible. And these are the stamps that I used on this case. The scallop is like the edge border. And then the basket weave pattern itself is made with this tool. It basically imprints and you have to stamp them parallel. So it does take a little bit of time. Uh, you could actually end up making a mistake and ruining the whole thing if you don't get your stamp lined up uh, parallel and centered. So I'm just testing this out with uh, something like a Samsung S7 Edge just to test it out. The customer did provide me the dimensions, so I actually fitted this specifically for his phone. And the retaining strap basically keeps the phone secured to keep it from slipping out if for some reason it's tilted a certain way. In the front, I do have an arch cutout that allows you to pull the phone out with your hands. And I do also install the gusset like the elastic or the leather. I actually end up installing that just a little bit below so you can also reach the edges with your fingers and kind of pull the phone out that way. One of the tricks with this case though is the way I designed the retaining strap is that it is also a pull tab. So you can actually open it up and pull the strap slightly and it actually ejects the phone out. And the leather on the inside that makes the strap uh, can't be the full range of veg tan. I mean it could be but if it's too thick, you meet a lot of friction. And so I, I like to use just the lining part of the leather on the pull strap part. And then the retaining strap actually runs down the middle. One thing I will point out about the metal clip is that it does not lock at multiple angles. It's kind of a free swivel type uh, deal. And so while you could, depending on how where you place it and the center of gravity of the item, uh, you could have it rest. It just depends on the center of gravity and it will naturally kind of spin into that direction. So in a vertical swivel case, the way I place it is that I tend to place it a little bit higher uh, than the center of gravity so that it will slowly angle itself downwards in a vertical position. The only way it actually unlocks from it, once again, is you have to turn it completely upside down. Once you use it a while, you, you kind of figure out where that angle is. This can come in handy if you travel a lot, like in and out of your car, and you prefer to pull your phone off, you know, your, your hip or your belt and unclip and put it on your seat or something like that. So that is my vertical style smartphone holster case that I make. It is made with full grain leather and it can be customized. I do, of course, make my horizontal style. There's actually a couple of videos on that on my YouTube channel. If you're interested, I will post a link to my, like my most recent one. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you're interested in tech, leathercraft, and EDC, and multi-tool stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos coming up pretty soon.